What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Day of Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Elite 2-in-1 review on WWE Elite Series 97, Chainsaw Charlie and King Woods. Terry Funk, Xavier Woods. You guys get the point here, but here they are in their full capacity. Very excited for these. I think this wave is, I don't know, not the greatest wave ever. Let's let's be real, but it is cool to see some new additions, some things here and there. You guys can leave me know your thoughts down below. I am excited to get into these. We've got some cool molds going on, a lot of newness in both of these, so that'll be really fun to experience here in the review. We did grab these from Ringside Collectibles. If you guys would like to do so, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, of course, when shopping over there. But we are going to dive into these figures. Excited to do so again. But here's the front viewing window for Chainsaw Charlie. Got the Elite 40, 41 head sculpt, I think, from Terry Funk. I remember the day that I found that at Toys R Us with the rest of Elite Series 41. It had Finn Balor. I think Lita was a part of that wave. Very important day. Used to hit Toys R Us every, I think, Thursday before I went home from college. Actually, after I had fractured two vertebrae in my back and was forced to retire from sports for the time being, but now I'm hoping three days a week at 5.30 a.m., you know what I'm saying? Went off on a little tangent, but you guys get the point. I think, you know, you, you, you try to throw some personality in there and some personal stories in there, but Chainsaw Charlie here, you got Chainsaw Charlie here, Chainsaw Charlie here, Chainsaw Charlie here, more Charlie of Chainsaw in the middle, and again on the side, and of course on the back, and then we do have the little bio read. If you want to read it, you can pause it now. Rest of the figures in the wave, and then we also have Xavier Woods. A new formula on this guy. Looking pretty good. I, I like it a lot. You got King Woods all over it, of course. I like this gear a lot. I think it's actually better than the Chase, which is in the maroon, but on the side you get King Woods. On the side you get King Woods and on the back there is the King himself. And you also have the Bio Reed, the rest of the figures in the wave, but kind of a singles King Woods, you know? Kind of a singles Xavier Woods. Don't think we've ever really seen a singles elite of Xavier Woods, which I guess they're never technically singles or they've never been really that way. I know you could say singles in quotations, but let's crack these guys out of the packaging, find out what they're all about, and see how they compare to the rest of their figures, even though this is kind of a first time in the line, to be honest, but let's crack them out, find out what they're about, and we'll see what comes of the review. So here is King Woods and Chainsaw Charlie out of their packaging going round and round as they do here in the reviews, but I'm excited to get into the details about it. I do think they both have their issues, of course, which we, we gotta get into, of course. You know, it's an MDT review. We're gonna dissect these figures, probably overdo it, but you know what, Brad? It's what I live for, critiquing, critiquing figures on the internet. But you know what, Brad? I'm here. I'm here doing it, and you know what? I already have issues with them, but I also am enjoying some things about them, which we're going to get into. But at the same time, man, what we're going to do is take a closer look at Chainsaw Charlie's accessories and Chainsaw Charlie, and then we'll take a look at Xavier Woods' accessories and the King himself. Speaking of which, we need a Jimmy King figure, man. I've been trying to make one for like six years, and I can't do it because I can't find a damn formula that works. Alright, guys, so getting into the accessories with Chainsaw Charlie, liking what I'm seeing here, you know, a decent amount. You get an interchangeable head sculpt. You get a cool weapon that would not make Chainsaw Charlie. What is Chainsaw Charlie without the Chainsaw? But do you believe we've seen this mold? This is the same mold from the Toys R Us exclusive Network Spotlight Finn Balor, but instead of in red, it is in yellow. But it's a nice sculpt. It doesn't have the chain in there, so you don't have to worry about sawing your face off. It looks good. You know, I, I always feel like it doesn't fit the hand as well, or it never fit the Finn Balor because he had like the choke slamming hand. You remember they used to give Finn Balor the choke slamming hands? But it should fit in his hand, no problem. We'll see about that later on, or I guess. You guys saw how it was in the hand there so it's it's not too bad but i do like the chainsaw i like all the sculpts on it this is a really nice accessory except you do have to be careful with this handle it will break off i've had that happen on my finn balors quite a bit on that figure quite a, you know over uh, probably five six times probably over the years since it released and so this is uh, a good accessory right here outside of that let's get into the interchangeable hands because you guys know how they are it's just fists with white tape we've seen this white peg so it makes the world go round and then we do have the mic holding hands and again the this will plug in here you know you do have to finagle it of course but you can get this in here and he can hold the chainsaw and he can hold this part as well double joint arms makes that nice but it all wits you know it gets the job done as far as head sculpts you have your one interchangeable head sculpt right here which is just the regular terry funk head sculpt or just your normal guy and you do have the red removable headband which is really nice i think it looks great uh you know it's a bit cartoony it's your old school mattel you know elite 41 it's like 55 series ago or something like that so this has never been terrible i think a new head sculpt would have been nice but you know we are getting that new you know that coliseum 
two pack with Hulk and, and Terry Funk, so we'll get some new head sculpts there. But this is, you know, a different time, but still, it's still, you know, it's a, it, it's a reused head sculpt. It's not the worst. At least you get to do an option there. But here's our new head sculpt, and this is just, <laughs> I don't even know what to say, bro. This is just, I don't like this, man. I do not like this. This is so, I don't even know. It is just not good, in my opinion, you know. And I'm not a Chainsaw Charlie Terry Funk connoisseur, but this is odd, bro. I know it's supposed to look like he's wearing a, a wrap on his head. I do believe it's supposed to look like pantyhose over his face, but this does not look like it. I think the lightness is okay there. I don't like that there's no, like, no hair on the forehead. I think, like, mashup hair against the forehead would have done a lot for this head sculpt, but you get your, you know, your dust and stuff going on, but it's, like, way too white, and it looks very odd. It looks like spray paint, and then you got this hair just coming out of nothingness. It's not like it's a full leather mask like Evil Uno, and then you have hair going through holes. I just think that they could have done a lot better with a like a really tight knitted claw pantyhose mask and then have this head just regular sculpted yelling that you put over the head you know I think that would have went a lot further it would have looked a lot better instead of just this dark brown face with this hair just sticking out very weird nod I don't like it I think somebody should repaint it or something and then throw like a spandex thing over it even if you did repaint it it looked god awful because the hair sculpts are so weird you'd have to add hair with it I don't know man get it out of my face I don't like it it's very odd and weird but uh you guys can let me know. What do you think? I think it's very just, I don't know. I, I, I'm not a, uh, get, get it out. Alright guys, so getting into Chainsaw Charlie, starting out the head sculpt, we've covered it. I'm not really a fan of it. it. It's just a, it's just so odd looking, man, and it's an eyesore, I think. It just looks so weird, but they have a lot of great things going on with this figure. Do I think they could have went with a different torso? I think the torso's too skinny. I think that, like, the whole upper body's too skinny and small. It kind of looks like a skinnier hillbilly version of Chainsaw Charlie cosplaying as Chainsaw Chainsaw Charlie, like a side goon of Chainsaw Charlie's, in my honest opinion, but, you know, you got some cool things going on. I do like the usage of, you know, the paint and stuff. I still think it just looks like paint. It doesn't really get across, like, I think it's a, a good idea. I just don't get, think it's executed that well. I do like the new sculpted sleeves here, double-jointed, non-pinned, you know, just really cool sculpts going on right here with the wrinkles and the rolled-up sleeves, and they're very well articulated. Like, the arms feel really, really good, which is always a bonus for me. I love that they have the suspenders connected right here. So, like, they are connected fully here, and they don't just pop off. And it's it's not only connected in the front, but in the back as well. You do get the continued stuff on the back, which is really nice. Very small figure for the, the crotch piece. As you guys can see, there's a lot of space right there. So, when you're trying to articulate it, you know, it is going to, you know, it's going to hinder it because he does have these suspenders on there. I'd be careful with it not to snap it. But I don't like that the, ba the belt's not painted. I think that would add a lot of dimension to the figure. I think even giving him, like, dry brush jeans like we've seen in the past from Mattel would really add to it as well but we've seen this it's just dean ambrose crotch and legs and shoes just repainted so it's the light colored jeans from elite 48 dean ambrose pegs are in there and all and then you do have the details on the shoes slash boots which i think do a lot for it. you got the red laces with the white outsoles look really good it's just you know i i don't know i think it's really cool to get these one-off characters or these kind of you know out of the blue characters or you know the the ones that are outside the original wheelhouse or the wheelhouse that you know we typically get of characters but i think it is lacking some things and it's hit and miss but at the same time, there's a lot of great things going on with the figure, which I really like. So as far as articulation, he can kick forward pretty good there. His split is good because he is on ball joints. He does have a double jointed knee. He does have a little bit of an ankle rocker. It's your typical Dean Ambrose. The figure feels really good in hand. Like I feel like I could pose a five star banger with this guy. I really do. Uh, the the arm articulation is fantastic. He like I I am really blown away with how good it feels in hand. I just think I may take this and turn him into a different character just because I don't think it really captures Chainsaw Charlie, and I don't really you know I, I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll see what comes of it, but I'm not a big fan of the head sculpt. If you guys want to see what this looks like with the regular Terry Funk head, or just, you know, your normal headband head sculpt, or whatever you want to say, put that on there. There he is without the mask. Honestly, I think using this and then buying a cloth mask or something, or getting somebody to make one, or go out, buy your own pantyhose, cut off, like, the pinky toe or something off the pantyhose, and then just throw it over the figure with a rubber band or something, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just playing around there, but, you know, this looks pretty good as well, so you get some different options. But I actually, I like the figure a lot. I just don't think the accuracy is quite there as far as like how big he was and I think there are some hit and miss things but the figure does feel really really good in hand which is always a great plus but here is the Terry Funk and as far as figure comparisons are concerned I did want to see what a couple Cactus Jacks look like so here is the Elite 48 and then the terrible Wrestlemania figure and these are like head swapped and stuff but I still think that they look good up next to each other so that's a pretty cool thing there I don't have my original Terry Funk I think I have one somewhere but it's not out and about I try my best to find it I don't know where it is 
we'll have to just build a bridge this time. But Chainsaw Charlie's, he, he, he's getting the job done, I think. I think he gets the job done, but there's some lack of execution some places. But overall, I like it. Now, getting into King Wood's accessories, what is a king without his crown? Very nice. Newly sculpted. You got the jewels and the diamonds and the rubies and the sapphires going all around. You do have the WWE logo. This is a very nice crown, man. It really, really is. I like it. It fits the figure well. It honestly hides the hair a bit, which we'll get into in just a moment. But it looks really, really good. It's flimsy. You know, we've seen crowns before, but this is a nice crown. I actually like it. This is a good accessory guy. What is a king without his crown? And what is a king without his scepter? Now, this doesn't separate or anything, but it's a nice brown color. You got the white on there good sculpts and everything nice handle i mean it's a it's a solid little scepter you know i think this is all newly sculpted and accurate so that's cool i don't know if this was just solid brown but i still like it you know i think it gets the job done and what can what else could you expect there I, you know you get your scepter you get your crown and outside of that you get your Kawhi leonard hands or ricochet you got a nice skin tone you got the white pegs with the white hand tape that all looks good there and then you also get your regular mic holding hands for or i guess scepter holding hands and then your regular mic holding hands but he's got the white pegs got the yellow lines on there these are detailed they fit well and that's all you can really ask for but that's xavier woods figure accessories all right guys so getting into king woods this is what i was talking about did not know this figure had this much hair behind like i thought it was just the braids and that was it like i thought it was like this i didn't realize that the crown like but then once i saw the figure and i took it off i was like oh yeah he did have that haircut so it's like he did have that hairstyle so it kind of like threw me off for a half second but i feel like the head is almost too big or that it doesn't fit the neck correctly like if you guys step back right here does it not just seem a bit tall to some people you know i think uh it might be a bit tall kind of want to like chop this off and give him just a flat top kind of or a mohawk anyway i like the head sculpt the likeness is there i like that they went with the apollo cruise torso but look at this that's an issue, man. That's definitely an issue. I guess it's not, like, horrific, but it's not great. I like the muscular shoulders and arms. I just feel like this one had that tight issue for a minute, and now look at the bicep. Look how, like, loose it is. This one looks a lot better. You do have the double joint arms, which are nice, but I love the gear. I do like the logos and stuff going on with it. The white and yellow and black look really good. I love his logo on the back here. That looks nice. Everything with it is nice, and I like the formula. No knee pads. You know, usually his figures don't come with knee pads, but they got the new kick pad mold from the Seth Rollins Elite 93. All the stripes are clean. All the deco is clean. The belt's clean. I like the formula. I just don't know how I'm feeling about this figure, man. Overall, I just think that that arm right there gives me issues. I feel like it's a bit out of proportion in some ways, but at the same time, it also looks good. It's kind of a weird thing about it, but let's back this thing up. Take a look at it from here. I guess it's not that bad. It's more noticeable in person, but when you compare it to some other Xavier Woods, you can see how big of a difference it really is, man. I mean, it really is a big difference, as you guys can tell here with the Xavier Woods compared to the rest of the Xavier Woods. You get the updated torso. I think it would do a lot better with chest and stomach hair. I think that would have added to it for sure. I think that would have definitely added to it, but you get the bigger arms. You get the bigger torso. You get the muscular shoulders. I think it is more accurate to Xavier Woods. Like, when you look at him, he's pretty muscular and stuff like that, but uh, it's kind of wild that we have all these Xavier Woods, isn't it? I mean, it's kind of crazy. You don't have, like, your goblin or your elf kick pads on there. You know, you're you're getting like, it's not as, as big, right? I think the height is still pretty accurate and all that, but it's kind of wild to see how far we come with these Xavier Woods from the Elite 43, the Elite 52, Toys R Us, Budios 3-pack, the Elite 60 or 61, I think, maybe 59. I can't remember the exact series. And then you do have the Elite 78 over here, I think. So truly wild times that we see here. And then we also have the Chase variant. So it's kind of crazy that we have eight different Xavier Woods Elites, but it is cool to see all of them up next to each other and stuff. Maybe you can mix and match some head sculpts. The head sculpt that came with this one, not this one, but the opposite head sculpt, I don't even remember where it is, but I think that would probably look good on this figure as well. So that's probably something you could do but you could also put that head sculpt over here so let's kind of let's just look at it you know you know would you just look at it you know buy this figure off ringside collectibles they'll ship it to you and you can just sit there and look at it but there's that you know if you want to do that it doesn't look half bad kind of fits a little bit but then you could take this head sculpt and plop it onto the older elite and i mean he kind of has like a giraffe neck so that's i don't know it's not horrific i guess but yeah you know it's an option and that's what we love you, you love options but that pretty much wraps up our two in one wwe elite series 97 review of chainsaw charlie and xavier king woods man like both figures but they're not perfect you know they're not perfect as we've discussed here today i think the formula of, of xavier almost said apollo cruz the formula of xavier woods is nice but i do think it does have its issues i think 
think Mattel just hasn't quite figured out the, the big muscular shoulder to bicep to torso ratio. Whatever that is they got to make to make the torso fit and, and have a good tight ab crunch. Not get loose shoulders. Not get stuck in poses. But also have the ability to buttery articulate. You know what I mean? Like be smooth as butter. Not have the looseness on the bicep, the shoulder, or the ab crunch all in one figure. I think that is something that they're struggling with right now. And they're still in the cusp of getting used to that. But like if the Chainsaw Charlie's articulation feels fantastic. I think his shoulders are perfect. I think that his torso is undersized. I think that they could have definitely added girth to this figure. And so I, I that's one of my biggest critiques with that figure is that I think that it, it has some inaccuracies, but I think at the same time, they have a lot of great sculpts. I think that they feel really good in hand. I like both figures a lot. I'm really intrigued with this with this ranking. That is where I'm, you know, I'm kind of off the chain right now. I don't know where which figure is which is going to come into consideration, but I am excited to get into that. We are going to get into my damn thoughts very soon on this full wave, dive into all the details, but if you guys would like these, go over to Ringside Collectibles. I think the King Woods is solid. Would I buy it right now? I guess, I don't know, probably not. You know, I think I'd wait on that one for retail. Chainsaw Charlie's pretty cool, man. I think that it's awesome. I think that you could make it better if you didn't use the pantyhose head sculpt. You know, you change it around, but a lot of people may like the, the, the pantyhose head sculpt. I'm just not, I'm not that guy. I'm not one of those. I think that it could be a lot better, and I just think the execution of that detail wasn't quite right, and I think that's my biggest setback with it. But before we get out of here, man, let's get into our random shout-out. And for today's random shout-out, and today's shout-out's gonna go to Lil Jack, who says, in all fairness, Andre is taller than Omos in real life by an inch, I believe, but they definitely could have made him taller as well as Andre. And my whole thing was that is, like, I do believe that Andre the Giant was bigger, but my point is that Mattel told us that Omos was the biggest elite they've ever made. So that, in itself, was not true, as we saw in the review. So that was my biggest takeaway from that. Not saying that Andre was supposed to be smaller. I'm just saying what Mattel told us was that Omos was the biggest elite ever and then we compare it to Andre and Andre's clearly bigger. So that's kind of where I'm coming with it. Nothing about, you know, anything like that. You know, it's, that's just where I am with it. But anyways, man, that is going to wrap up the video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down below in the comments section. I'm getting out of here. Have a blessed day and I'll see you guys next time. You cross the line.